only one ball. You thought you were the only one slayer die. You thought you were the only one ball. You thought you were the only one slayer die. All right, what's going on, y'all? This is Eric Rosenberg, owner of Epitome here in Atlanta, Georgia. We're here with the shoe game. Shout out to G Rock. Bring it back to show me your sneaker collection. Let's get down to it. Now, player. Yeah, we're in the Nike room right now. This is kind of where I keep all my uh, Nike pieces that I enjoy and kind of pieces that I don't rock too often, but I like to bust out every once in a while and get a smile out of. But uh, I'm a huge Air Max 1 fan, huge Air Max 90, Griffey's trainers. Uh, kind of keep kind of keep as many colors as possible on these Air Max 1s, man. I actually walked into a store in Tel Aviv at the uh, Nike store actually and they had these regular price ready to go the pop that I don't know if y'all familiar with that oh, we got some of these Air Max ones got some of those some other pop that joints shout out to those guys yeah there's some Reeboks in here just cause these I had these when I was a kid man the Twilights I know they brought them back but I actually got these in a soul box in Berlin which is a dope ass store out there in Berlin. They're kind of killing all the collabs right now. Shout out to them. Um, got flows, some Air Max ones, man. I got all the all the bins really. The 23s, the quality on those are just ridiculous, man. I know y'all seen those a few times, but let's just bust that one, see what they're looking like. I came with a little bag and the whole nine. The nines, the gold, the classic bin. Wax pressing on there. It's fly. These are actually a really cool pair. I don't know if too many people have seen these Coraline Dunks. They had a little doorway. I don't know if you're familiar with the Tim Burton movie. The dope movie. They killed that. Well, these are pretty limited. They only gave a few out to people in the who were involved with the movie somehow. And uh, these dunks are crazy. I know dunks are kind of kind of old school now but you know they still got some fly ass ones man it came with the big buttons and we got some some SB's up there we got some Jedi's what the dunks J rods which are super dope those are the ones that had the uh, that had the uh, Jordan logo I think it's the only SB with the Jordan logo on it which is kind of crazy I remember seeing those first in Miami. I was in Miami. This dude was rocking them. I thought they were straight fakes, but it turns out they were not, and they're super dope, man. All right, these are the uh, SP De La Soul Lowe's white, and they—I uh, got the highs up there somewhere, but those are the truth right there. These joints you don't see too often. I thought they were pretty cool. BBCs, Chuck, kind of inspired. G Rock's a huge fan of the trainers, Bo Jackson's. That colorway is still the illest, and I know they just re released them, but man, I, I, I gotta buy them every time I see them, man. Them things are sick, man. <laughs> the bands, man, I know I mentioned them, but these things are quality on them is crazy, and for some reason the price went up like ridiculous as things are going now. But those with the X on it, and the leather is fire, man. And these. Just cause, man. That, that's 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 true heritage of Nike right there, man. That's where they started, and I had to get those. I probably could never pull them off, but just for just cause, you know. We had these out for the uh, mag event at Epitome. Those joints right there are sick. The DeLorean brake lights on it. DMC on it. Yeah, it's a dope shoe. And these actually, these are one of my favorite pairs from middle school. I know they were a general release last year, but I was super excited for them to come out, man. That's a fire shoe. I remember when I was a kid, I really wanted them. These right here are definitely probably my favorite. Air Max One. The Atmos collab. They always kill it. And I got a couple more, man, but... uh might take a little while, so let's just get head on to another room, man. I got some J's, I got some Adidas, some other stuff up there, man. Some good trees. Let's do it. What's going on? This is this is room two. Just a couple of pieces in here that kind of stood out to me that I wanted to show y'all. Um, obviously some Wolf Grays. Uh, I don't know. I got that heat though too, man. 
Y'all need to get on that Johnson and Murphy shit, man. They make some quality shit. But uh, some brownies, some bagels there. Fire. But ones that really stick out to me are these uh, Jordan 11 whites. Uh, my best friend who passed away a couple years ago. That's kind of how we met in eighth grade. We, uh, I kind of made fun of him for wearing these because I didn't like them at first. And then uh, I kind of fell in love with them and had a pair. And um, Yeah, these, these are dope, man. The all whites. They're probably coming back out. And uh, hopefully they come out with the blue bottoms, man, because the, the clear just wasn't right. But uh, these are the retro pair, but, you know. Still, they, they mean something to me just because of my best friend who passed away. And, you know, every time I wear them, I always think of him. And uh, anytime the Jordan 11 comes out, I got to grab them, man. So those definitely stand out. I play ball in these, man. These joints, probably the best ball shoe ever, man. None but ankle support. <laughs> Tokyo's. These are probably my favorite pairs to come out, man. These are Nevis right now. This is my, this is my shit right now. Got to get every color on those. Quality on them is sick. Super cool. Oh, that was a classic DMC right there. Had to get a few pairs of those, man. Shout out to Jam Master J. And DMC. Favorite rap group in the world right there. Outside of Tribe and Outcast, other than that. But yeah, man. Got some heaters in here, man. Got the Hannon, some Coney's. Dropped those at Epitome. I think we sold out in like 10 minutes, man. It's kind of crazy. The Hannon logo there. Killed that. This is a little pit stop before we get to the vault, man. This is uh, just some other pairs that I get, some that I like. Uh, some New Balances, Adidas's, all the Countdown packs, Gold Moment packs. Um, these right here. If anybody has a size 11, I'm looking for these. These are 10 and a half, and I can't fit them. But uh, <laughs> these are uh, uh, made for Ronaldo, the soccer player. These are Tinker actually designed these, and these are not too many people have them. I know my man Clyde, Sneakerbox Clyde, got them. But. Uh, Still looking for that level. Anybody got them? Let me know. You know they rolled these out again. They re-released re them. People kind of slept on them, but these are one of the greatest Nikes of all time, in my opinion. The chlorophyll colorway. OG Bo Jackson's right here, man. These are the truth. So we're still on the way to the to the vault, man. These are obviously uh, better joints. I just grabbed these. I was really excited to get these. Staple Pumas. What about? 500 pairs made, made in Japan. The leather on these things is fire. Classic Jeff Staple, made in Japan right there. These are some more Nevers. These actually come out next month, I believe. I kind of stole these from the rep, man. Got the sample pair. These Rose Sheezies, people call them. This is a Nike ID I did, man. Uh, I saw they did the KDs and they had the, you know, the glow in the dark all over print. So I kind of had to uh, grab that man, threw the little epitome in there. Pony hair five seven fives. Those are super clean. Bape undefeated. Adidas collab. It was uh, three of them I think. It was the black campus, green campus, and these. But these are definitely the illest. All right, so we're here. This is the vault. This is the little Jordan room that I keep all my J's at. Uh, I don't wear them too, too often because I've been into lows and runners, but I got some of these too. These are one of my grails, man. I know a few people got them, but the fours with the Nike Air and the real cements, you know, like the new ones just weren't cutting it, man. I couldn't even justify myself buying them, man. So. I stick with these. I haven't worn them yet because I'm kind of nervous about that bubble. It's a little cloudy. But, uh, yeah, better believe if I, get, if I find another pair, I'm going to definitely grab those. Got some, like, do the right thing threes. I got some grays. 
Um, I got some of these. Look at them beat up, man. These are true blues from they're from like 03, I think. These mochas. Yeah, I beat these up, but they're super clean. Some Levens, man, I bought from Finish Line like way back in the day when they came out. Never even worn them. Some more Levens, Cool Grays from 03. Space Jams, got a few pairs of those. Some those 11 Lows. Yeah, these I guess are about to drop back out. Crispy. Out here, two black. Played ball in these too. I had another pair. Dornbecker sixes. Dornbeckers are always dope. And my girl, actually, my girl got some more heat too, man. Hold on. Bam. Vashti twos. First female to ever do a collab with Jordan. And she's not an athlete, so big up to Vashti. That's huge. Another pair of white 11s. Crispy, ain't worn them yet, but. And a pair with the. I don't know if y'all remember the cards, the retro cards. I'm hearing they're bringing them back. I don't know if that's correct or not, but. Eight lows. 3M hits all on the back. Those silver eights. Four with Mars on it. Military fours with the card. Definitely one of the best Jordan colorways, especially the fours. Kind of slept on on that re-release, but amazing shoe. These are grapes, but the uh, older version. And quality and new ones, once again, man, they're just not like they were. I hate saying that because it makes me sound old, but uh, it's really what it is, man. But it's still, you know, if you can get the new ones, grab them. Cause it's a clean shoe and it's classic. Oh yeah, clean ball nose, but Jordan Six Lows. So let's show some knives. Carolina Blue. Remember, I always wanted these because it was a picture of Jordan on a basketball wearing these, this colorway, and they never came out at the time. I always looked for them, but. They retro them a few years ago. Yeah, still clean. I remember when these come, you know, were coming out. Foot action. I even had a hookup back there, man. My, man. my man's name was Oscar in Sarasota Square Mall. This dude would hook us up with shoes, man. Like, he would hold pairs for us, you know. And this was back in '98. <laughs> Something like that, man, and uh, it's crazy to see how it's evolved. Thank y'all for coming through. Once again, this is Eric Rosenberg, Pity Me ATL. Uh, we appreciate y'all. Thanks for Shoe Game. Shout out to G-Rock. As you can see, there's a lot going on, but uh, I could be here all day, man. But uh, thanks again, and uh, see you soon. Oh, hold on, hold on. There's one more thing I got to show y'all before y'all take off, man. All right, guys, so before y'all leave, I had to show you these, man. These are a shoe that I never expected would ever be made or that I would ever have in my possession. So these are definitely my grails. These are the mags from the Back to the Future. Yeah, so just wanted to show y'all these, man. These are definitely a prime possession of mine. I uh, appreciate y'all for coming through again. Again, shout out to Shoe Game, Eric Rosenberg, Epitome ATL. Yeah, 2013, man. Appreciate y'all.